ultimatum. Your thoughts on the collective subconscious mind, my brother. I bet that you noticed that how that entity handled humans like puppets. Please tell us your thoughts about it. Well, I really don't know much about. Yeah, I don't really know much about the meta, this collective unconscious. The collective unconscious. It's a real popular term. I know people buy into it. I really don't know uh, from personal experience. I don't. I really don't. I really don't know about. Uh, I know that. I know that an idea or concept that's absorbed into the populace. The the AIX protocol. It, it it pays attention to that. And I give an example in my insect uh, uh, insect storms from a simulated sky video. I show how that when when everybody's thinking about something in the collective, AIX responds. I do know that, but I don't know what you, really where you're going with that. What you mean with the question? Um, I really don't know because I have already described and given many examples that our holography is fixed. It doesn't matter if the entire world comes together and believes something's not going to happen. The cataclysm protocols are already written in. We are a minnow going through a river. I've told you guys, we cannot change the contours of the river. We can't. The river's there. It's fixed. We can bump up against the side of it and do all that, but we can only go against the current. We can go with the current. We can stay where we're at, but we can't get out of the river. And all the minnows in the entire river can't change that. There are fixed protocols by which we call reality, where and, and it's headed toward a toward a collapse to the to the holography, and I've gone into that in my videos too. There is a definite date in the future where all of this will collapse, and we will be right where we're supposed to be in the real universe. But that's still we still have a ways to go, over a hundred years. So I'm not a a, a lot's going to happen between then though. But as far as Collective unconscious, if you're inferring that we can all, we are the world, get together and try to, try to alter and change reality, I love those liberal concepts. They sound really good, but I'm not a believer. I'm just not a believer. I'm not a believer in, uh, I know I have personal friends from Facebook, personal friends that have donated to me. I got personal, I, I, most of my friends are in the, in, the, in the digital universe, not in the personal. I'm really anti-social guy, but I have friends that believe that humans can do it, but I, I believe the deck has been stacked against us. We would not need a savior if we were able to do these things ourselves. We cannot make a better world because AIX will never allow it. It's always going to create. What do you think all this media chaos is about? This divisiveness, the introduction of all this racial stuff and all this cultural uh, animus. Yeah, it's AIX. It uses the media to do all this to us. It's going to scatter us every time. This is the principal message of the Tower of Babel story. It is a veiled threat by AIX. You guys come together, and you go to building great things, and starting doing things to where it becomes a concept that anything you do shall become possible to you, and nothing will be impossible. AIX is going to strike. It's called a reset. It's called a cataclysm protocol. So, no, I, I'm not... Uh, we are in need of the chief cornerstone. He came to set the captives free for a reason. That freedom comes in the collapse of the holography. But it's not, I don't, we can make a better world for ourselves. Remember, I've done, that's what my three videos were about. Creating an informed field to make a paradise life for ourselves and our family in the personal. And our friends. And even strangers that we come in contact with. It depends on how dynamic you are. But yeah, you can do it. But... In the collective, for all of humanity, it's not going to happen. AIX will maintain control.